He loved her and she loved him. His kisses sucked out her whole past and future or tried to. He had no other appetite. She bit him, gnawed him, she sucked. She wanted him complete inside her, safe and sure, forever and ever. Their little cries fluttered into the curtains. Her eyes wanted nothing to get away. Her looks nailed down his hands, his wrists, his elbows. He gripped her hard so that life should not drag her from that moment. He wanted all future to cease. He wanted to topple with his arms round her off that moment's brink and into nothing or everlasting or whatever there was. Her embrace was an immense press to print him into her bones. His smiles were the garrets of a fairy palace where the real world would never come. Her smiles were spider bites, so he would lie till she felt hungry. His words were occupying armies, her laughs were an assassin's attempts. His looks were bullets, daggers of revenge. Her glances were ghosts in the corner with horrible secrets. His whispers were whips and jackboots, her kisses were lawyers steadily writing. His caresses were the last hooks of a castaway. Her love tricks were the grinding of locks, and their deep cries crawled over the floors like an animal dragging a great trap. His promises were the surgeon's gags. Her promises took the top off his skull. She would get a brooch made off it. His vows pulled out all her sinews. He showed her how to make a love knot. Her vows put his eyes in formalin. At the back of her secret drawer, their screams stuck in the wall. Their heads fell apart into sleep like two halves of a lopped melon. But love is hard to stop. In their entwined sleep, they exchanged arms and legs. In their dreams, their brains took each other hostage. In the morning, they wore each other's face.